guys, good morning or afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. I wanted to kind of break from my normal routine where I tell you guys a story and instead I wanted to start the week out with a challenge. So at the start of this whole pandemic when everything was up in the air and I was really battling a bunch of feelings of uncertainty and anxiety and worry, I really felt God call back to remembrance this verse that he has dropped into my spirit many times in the past when I've been battling uncertainty and anxiety over decisions that I've had to make or just over different life circumstances. And so as those familiar feelings came up again, this verse kept speaking to me. And I'm going to read it to you. The verse is found in Psalms 46 verse 10 and it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And verse 11 continues, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This verse, this call to be still and to simply know that he is God and to be reminded that he's present and that he's my fortress, which means if you guys remember like medieval history when you saw castles and these walled cities a fortress is something impenetrable it's somewhere you can hide somewhere safe and this verse called me back into remembrance of the fact that god is my safe place and rest and stillness is something he invites us into something he calls us to and it's actually something he commands us to observe if you guys have ever heard the Ten Commandments, the fourth commandment is to keep the Sabbath day holy. Sabbath is a day of rest. So if you remember too, back to the creation story, God created the earth in six days of action. And then on the seventh day, he rested. He was still. In all these stories that I've been telling you, God has been moving, he's been working mightily. But if you remember when I mentioned that God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, well, that fourth commandment goes something like this. It's found in Exodus 9, oh, just kidding, Exodus 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord, your God. On it you shall do all you shall not do any work. You or your son or your daughter or your servants or your livestock, your animals, or even a foreigner who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And he continues with more laws, but I want to camp out here. Guys, we're called, we're commanded by God to rest. And that command is for our benefit, as well as the benefit of our relationship with God. There is something really powerful to taking time to be still and to reflect on who God is in your life. For me, I needed to be reminded that he's my fortress and that he protects me even when I'm feeling really scared about what's out in the world right now. And just the not knowing and the uncertainty of what's going to happen in the next few months. I needed to be reminded that God's got it. And maybe God needs to remind you of something similar or maybe it's something else. My challenge to you this week is that you take time to be still. That means to get quiet. That means to turn off your computer, to turn off your screen. And maybe it's only for a few minutes. Maybe my challenge this week is that you try it first with five. I tried it this morning. We all did actually, all of your teachers this past week, we all took some time to be still and to let God speak. And man, when you let him in, he brings so much peace and so much healing into your heart. And he can calm that anxious storm that's brewing in your mind. So take some time this week, be still, and just think about God's goodness and just be willing to listen to what he might need to teach you. And maybe that involves picking up a Bible and starting in Matthew and reading about Jesus's life or starting in Genesis and starting all the way in the beginning. But take some time today. Carve out some time 
not today, at some point this week, get still in God's presence, okay? And know that he is God and that he's with you. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.